Have you ever thought that a fruit tree would be such a simple but great addition for unturned? Personally, I have. I think of it all the time. Apple trees, pear trees, all that stuff would just be so nice if it was an unturned. Well guys, guess what? Apple, pear, and avocado trees have officially been put into unturned as a mod on the workshop. But anyways guys, my name's Robocast, and welcome to a video showcase of the fruit trees mod for unturned. Now this was a mod made primarily for my server, but I really don't care who uses it, so if any of you guys are interested in getting this for yourself, feel free to click the link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy the video, if you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so welcome to my world, this is going to be where I'm showcasing the fruit trees mod. Now there are currently only three trees, there's a pear tree, an avocado tree, and an apple tree. But don't worry, I will be adding more in the future, we're going to have all types of other cool things, so stay tuned for that because this mod will be regularly updated. Also guys, one last side note, um, I want to give a huge shout out to a guy named SMD. If it wasn't for him, this mod would not be possible, and we would not have fruit trees and unturned, so shout out to SMD for making this mod. Now it's not going to be a very long video because there's only, again, three trees for now, uh, but don't worry, again, there will be more added in the future. So we're going to start out with the pear tree. Now it just looks like a normal tree with some pears on it. It looks pretty dang cool if you ask me. It kind of moves around with you. It's, it's kind of weird. Like look, look how it follows you when you walk. Like I don't know. It's just weird. But it looks great. I have to give SMD props one more time. This looks amazing. I really don't understand why it like follows you when you walk. But other than that, I love this tree. Now you're probably wondering, how in the world do I get those pears off this tree? Well guys, watch this. You walk up to it with a chainsaw. And whenever you cut it down, it drops some pears. Oh, they're so beautiful. They look so dang good. So the tree has been chopped down, and as you notice, it drops some pears on the ground. You're probably wondering, why in the world did it not drop wood? It is a tree, to be fair. Well, I kind of set it up like this on purpose, because it's for my server, and I only want people to be able to get pears out of it. So coming along with these trees are the fruits themselves. There's the pears, the apples, and the avocados. The models look so awesome, like they look really good, I love the look of these. And of course they are edible, so you can eat them like a normal food, look at that. Actually this one's a drink. But it's still pretty cool, you can actually heal yourself with it, regenerate your hunger and regenerate your thirst and stuff. Really cool mod guys, it's really awesome. It also gives you XP whenever you chop down the tree in case you didn't notice. So let me go ahead and chop down this tree real fast. And it gives you plus 6 experience for chopping these down. Once again, as I said, the main purpose of this was for my RP server, you know, to get the fruit, sell it to NPCs, and become like a fruit guy, but it's definitely a good enough mod to share with the rest of you guys, and that of course is why I'm making this video. Next up are the avocado trees. Now these also look really awesome, they're kind of a different style than those, a little bit more leafier and stuff, but again, they have the same purpose as the other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and chop it down real fast. Now just like the other tree, this tree also drops fruit whenever it's cut down and these are avocados. Now they do look pretty similar to the pear, but they are actually a little bit different. So if we put them down here side by side, you could see a little bit of a difference. This one's more of like an eggplant shaped thing, and this one's more, I don't know, pearish. But anyways guys, these are pretty much the same thing as the pear. You can eat them, they regenerate your health, and stuff like that. And now guys, moving on to the final tree, the apple tree. And again, we're gonna be making all types of more stuff like apple pies, you know, apple cider, a big array of foods are going to be available from these simple trees. So finally is the apple tree, as I said, we're going to go ahead and chop it down real fast. And this one drops apples. Now the pears look good, don't get me wrong, the avocados look good, but nothing looks as good as these dang apples. They look so vanilla, and they fit the game so well, guys. I just can't wait until apple pie and all that stuff comes along, it's going to be such an awesome addition for the game. But once again, you can pick up the apple, you can eat it, and it replenishes your health. But I want to know right now what you guys think of this mod in the comments below. Now as I said, there's really not a whole lot to it yet, but don't worry guys, as I said like 30 times now, we are going to be adding more trees in the future. But guys, that is it for this part of the video. Now we're going to move on to the part where I show you how to put it in your own custom map. So if you guys are leaving me now, thank you so much for watching, see you guys next time and peace, and stay tuned if you want to see how to put these trees in your map. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do if you want to place these in your map, is to find a map that you want to edit on the workshop. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to edit a map and all that. At this point, I would assume that you already have your own map. There's plenty of other tutorials you can use if you want to create your own map. But, so, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create your own map. Once you do that, come back to this video right now. Once you have your map up and ready to go, all you want to do is click on the Terrain tab in the Map Editor, and then click on the Resources button. 
So now that you're in the resources tab, you'll probably notice that it lists a bunch of vanilla items, stuff like trees, bushes, basically anything that you would see on a normal unturned map is going to be in this list. So if you want to find the modded objects, just go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom, and you should notice all of the trees in the mod pack. Now as I said earlier, this is going to be updated quite often, so currently at the time of this video there's only three trees, but I will be adding more in the future. So once you're in the very bottom and you find the trees that you want to place, simply click on them, go into the map where you want to place it, and click on the map, and you'll notice that the tree will be placed. It's right there and ready to go. And again, you can do this with however many trees you want. So go ahead and click the avocado tree, boom, 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 now you have some avocados. Go ahead and place the pear tree, boom, 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 now you have pears. And basically just repeat the process so you have the number of trees that you want. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.